It is happening right now. A hotel is on fire on Emmett Street in Charlottesville. The guests were evacuated from the Excel Inn and Suites, and you can see the smoke across the city. And BC 29's Nora News is on scene with our breaking news. Hi, Nora. Hey there, Sharon and Steve. Well, just about an hour ago, the Charlottesville Fire Department received a phone call that a fire had broken out at the Excel Inn and Suites on Emmett Road. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. At this point, the firefighters have been at it for about an hour. The fire started in the farther building that you can see and then started to spread toward that wing that's closest to us. Right now, the smoke is getting a lot thicker because they're putting more water on it. They say that's a good thing, but they are still battling to put it out. They've had a mutual aid request come in uh, or offer rather from Albemarle County. So there are now Albemarle County um, engines on scene as well. One witness told us earlier today that he was inside of his hotel room when it happened and that he has all his school papers in there. He's not sure when he's going to be able to finish them. His finals are due tomorrow. Another three witnesses told us that they are here for a business trip and they're not sure when they'll get their belongings back either. I just saw a bunch of black smoke coming out of the uh pretty much the attic area in the hotel and next thing I know I was taking a shower and my buddy comes pounding on the door hey there's a fire you know and so I had to jump out of the shower really quickly and get dressed and grab as much stuff as I could and get out Now, at this point, all of the hotel guests are gathered outside trying to make sense of what's been happening and figure out if they'll be able to get any of their belongings back. There's also a number of townspeople and people watching out here. The biggest thing that you need to be aware of right now, though, is that Emmett Street is completely closed down right up until University, and there's backups in every direction, down University, down McCormick Road. And so if you're trying to get home tonight from work, commute anywhere, just be aware that you are going to have some big delays that should avoid this whole general area. All right, Nora, new slide for us on scene. Thank you, Nora. And that is very close to grounds. So Absolutely. lots of students in that area, and I bet a lot of that hotel sold out for so graduation, graduation coming up. in about 10 days. Yep, we're going to have to look into that. In high definition from the area's most experienced news team, this is NBC 29 HD News at 530. It is a smoky mess right now on Emmett Street in Charlottesville. The XLN went up in flames earlier today. Firefighters are working hard to get everything under control there. NBC 29's Nora News is on scene with new breaking details. Hi, Nora. Stephen Sharon. Well, things out here on Emmett Street have really taken a turn for the worse just in the last 20 minutes. I'm going to give you a look right now at the back of the Excel Inn and Suites. The whole back half of this side of the hotel has collapsed now. The roof has caved in. Um, and at this point, firefighters are just trying to get the fire under control. But firefighters have confirmed to me that they are moving to a defensive approach. Initially, when this fire broke out, they were going into the building, bringing hoses up through the hotel hallways, trying to put out the blaze that they believe started in just one hotel room. But just in the last 10 minutes, they declared something called the 35 foot collapse zone. So they're asking everyone, that's firefighters, that's medics, and even the media to stay about 30 feet back from the building because they do want to be careful that if the building entirely collapses that no one gets hurt. They say they expect to be out here for the next couple of hours. And at this point, they're just trying to get the fire under contained. There's still flames shooting up out of the building at different parts. And the firefighters are, are trying to take shifts so they don't get too exhausted. At this point, they have two medics on scene specifically for that purpose. There have been no injuries reported, either civilians or firefighters, but just to keep them hydrated and not from getting too exhausted. They have 11 trucks and mutual aid from Albemarle County. Now, you can stay with NBC 29 for more footage and more information at 6 o'clock out here, Nora News, NBC 29 News at 5. But first tonight, we are on the scene of breaking news as Charlottesville Hotel is up in flames. Live in high definition from the area's most experienced news team, this is NBC 29 HD News at 6. Smoke from that Charlottesville Hotel fire can be seen all across the city tonight. Yeah, guests at the Excel Inn were evacuated shortly after that fire started, just around 4 o'clock this afternoon. NBC 29's Nora News is on scene along Emmett Street now with the breaking details. Hi, Nora. Hey there, Stephen Casey. Well, the Charlottesville Fire Department says at this point they're mostly in a defensive posture. We'll show you here what is going on. It has just started to rain out here, which firefighters say is really helping the effort. At this point, they're trying to blow off some of the shingles from the roof to release some of that heat. 
and some of the flames that are trapped underneath. There's a mutual aid request here. That's an Albemarle County fire rescue truck that is helping them out. The fire broke out earlier this afternoon around 4 o'clock. The fire department believes that it was just uh, starting in one room before it started spreading to the entire hotel. At first, they had firefighters going up into the halls of the hotel with hoses trying to put it out. But after about 20 or 30 minutes, the fire began to spread and they decided it was too dangerous to have firefighters actually inside. That's when they all moved back. We spoke to one witness earlier today who's here on a trip and he is a graduate student. He has finals starting and he came back to try to figure out what he could salvage. It's finals week for me. It's I've got projects due tomorrow. It's all in there. I don't know how my professor's going to take this, frankly. I, I just don't know. Now, at this point, there have been no injuries, but there are a number of medics on scene just to help in case some of the firefighters become exhausted trying to re rehabilitate them. And now I want to show you here. This is a look at the Emmett Street area um, near the University of Virginia grounds. Many of the roads and the side streets are closed right now. So that's really what you need to know as you're trying to get home from work tonight, as you're trying to commute. The firefighters say that they do intend to be here for the next couple of hours, keeping an eye on the building and making sure that they do everything they can to save what's left of it. We'll be here for the next few hours as well. All right, Nora News live for us tonight. Thank you so much, Nora. Bird's eye view of the massive operation to get that fire under control. Tonight, the latest from the scene and what we know about the blaze. Your news starts right now. Live in high definition from the area's most experienced news team. This is NBC 29 HD News at 11. Oh, it's terrible out here. It smells disgusting. It smells like burning drywall, I would say. Witnesses described the scene at a massive hotel fire in Charlottesville. Fire crews are still on the scene. Tonight, we're told the building is a total loss. The smoke could be seen for miles around the Emmett Street and Ivy Road area of Charlottesville. Yeah, right now, fire investigators are trying to figure out exactly what sparked that afternoon fire. NBC 29's Nora News is live on the scene for us with details on what's next. Hi, Nora. Hey there, uh, Steve and Casey. Well, right now, the rain is really helping put out that fire. It's firefighters say entirely under control, but that doesn't mean that the work stops. Right now, there are a few last firefighters out here just on cleanup detail, trying to see what they can salvage and begin to start that investigation. Tonight, there are dozens of hotel guests who don't know where they're staying or have had to find other accommodations, and the family that owns this hotel has had to start trying to figure out how and when to pick up the pieces. As the Excel Inn and Suites on Emmett Street in Charlottesville went up in flames Thursday afternoon, the evacuated guests stood outside and watched. I was taking a shower and my buddy comes pounding on the door. Hey, there's a fire, you know, and so I had to jump out of the shower really quickly and get dressed and grab as much stuff as I could and get out. The scene outside worse than he expected. I didn't think it was that bad. No. I was like, how bad is it? In a matter of minutes, firefighters believe the fire spread from the room where it started through the second floor and then to the entire building. At first, firefighters tried an aggressive approach, climbing into the building with hoses to fight it from the inside, but it soon became too dangerous. The firefighters evacuated as well, left to fight it from the outside. The roof collapsed shortly after. Now, dozens of guests are left to find somewhere else to sleep, leaving their possessions behind in a burnt, soggy mess. And it's finals week for me. It's I've got projects due tomorrow. It's all in there. As night fell and a light rain started, firefighters were able to control the fire, blowing shingles off the roof to release some of the heat. Watching from a parking garage nearby, UVA professor of African American Studies, Irvin Jordan, mourned the loss of the historic hotel. This is the hotel where Martin Luther King Jr. stayed when he spoke at the University of Virginia uh, in, in March of 1963, I believe. It was five years before his assassination. While the building had been entirely renovated and renamed since then, its importance stood. That's why Jordan hopes the owners rebuild. So that we can remember that uh, there was a moment in time where they had a moment of greatness when Dr. King stayed there. Now the back half of this hotel, you can't see it from here, has completely collapsed. The roof is entirely caved in, but the front side is stable and firefighters hope that it will remain that way. All right, Nora News live for us tonight. Thank you so much, Nora.